first mistake you might be making with your sunscreen is spraying it on really quickly and then jumping immediately into the pool or running into the ocean. Good move. If you're here, you are wanting to learn more about sunscreen, you are a sunscreen wearer yourself, you wanna protect your skin against the harmful UV rays. As a melanoma cancer survivor myself, I completely understand wanting to get sunscreen application correct so that you get an even coverage and that you are protected from getting skin cancer. Because I know you've seen the news articles that skin cancer is on the rise here in 20. 2024 and it has been for the past couple of years. I was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer in 2021 and had surgery and thankfully I no longer have skin cancer. For now, it could always come back. Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom here. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Today we are talking about the five mistakes you might be making with your sunscreen. The first mistake you might be making with your sunscreen is spraying it on really quickly and then jumping immediately into the pool or running into the ocean for your beach summer vacation. You're slapping that sunscreen on and then immediately hopping in the water and it takes about 15, 20 minutes for a sunscreen to form that protective film. So I suggest applying it before you leave your hotel room, <laughs> apply it, then jump in the pool after you've had it form the film. Because you don't wanna immediately have it rinse off in the water and not protect you for those 15, 20 minutes that it is trying to form the film on your skin. I've given you the scenario of spraying it quickly, especially with the sprays. Did you know you have to rub those sprays in? Yes, you actually have to rub them in. And you don't wanna do a light layer. You want to have your skin glistening and wet looking when you apply those sprays. So that's a bonus tip. Mistake number two that you might be doing is relying on your foundation, BB cream, CC cream, all of those that have the SPF in them. I am wearing a CC cream right now that has SPF 50 in it, and I also have a sunscreen underneath. We never apply enough foundation or BB cream or CC cream to actually give the SPF on the bottle. So if it says an SPF of 15 and you apply the layer that looks nice on your face, you might be getting an SPF of five or less. So don't rely on your foundation with an SPF in it as your only sunscreen. You need to apply a sunscreen underneath. Now what you can skip a lot of times is you can skip your moisturizer because a sunscreen typically acts as a moisturizer on your skin as well. Mistake number three you might be making with your sunscreen is forgetting small areas. There are certain areas on our body that we just don't naturally think of putting SPF on. That being our ears, and not just the outside of the ears, but the inside of the ears as well. So I suggest getting a sunscreen that is non-comedogenic because there's nothing worse than getting a zit in your ear. <laughs> You also don't wanna forget that your part line, SPF powders are great for this. Kula has a spray oil that goes in here. Um, but if you don't want your hair to feel oily, you don't wanna have the powder in there, put a hat on. That's a great way to protect your entire head is to put a UPF 50 sun hat on. Another area you might be forgetting are the backs of your hands. I know when I'm driving prior to having melanoma skin cancer, I was all the time forgetting the backs of my hands. I wasn't even thinking about them. And that is one of the areas that shows the most age spots and the aging as we get older. I have some great gloves from Black Girl Sunscreen that I wear. I have some great Amazon gloves that I wear in the car. I will leave those linked below. Now, if you don't wanna wear gloves, um, mind you, these gloves are very breathable. They aren't uncomfortable to wear, but if you don't wanna wear gloves, take an SPF stick and just go over the tops of your hands three to four times. That will protect them. Um, because a lot of times the lotions, not all of them, but some of them, when you rub it on your hand and then you touch your steering wheel, you know your steering wheel gets all greasy. So I like either the gloves or the SPF stick. You also might be forgetting the tops of your feet. It is sandal weather and I love wearing sandals as well. <laughs> so put that layer of sunscreen on top, not just on the top of your feet, but on your toes before you put your feet in your sandals. Another place we frequently forget SPF, those of us who wear lipstick, 
is our lips. SPF of 30 or above is great. Uh, you know, there are some that have 15, 20. The best sunscreen is the one you will actually wear. <laughs> Number four mistake you might be making with your sunscreen. And I am talking specifically to those who watch TikTok because the rest of you probably had no idea this, this was a thing. But it has recently become popular to make your own sunscreen. Y'all, we are not chemists. There are very few cosmetic skincare chemists out there who can actually formulate sunscreen. If you don't have the degree, you're not a chemist. We should not be doing this. Sunscreens are formulated very specifically to provide the UVA and the UVB protection. UVA is the rays that cause the aging and the skin cancer, and the UVB are the rays that cause the burning on our skin. I see people on TikTok using just coconut oil, uh, mixing just regular zinc, in with it and it clumps up and it doesn't have the spread that it needs to to cover your body if you don't have the degree don't do it and the fifth mistake you might be making with your sunscreen is relying only on sunscreen <laughs> i know that sounds crazy right you should just be able to put on sunscreen and go out and enjoy your day i am an advocate for sun protection through more than just sunscreen. There are uh, hats, clothing, UPF 50 clothing, watching the time that you are out. Typically UV is at its highest between 10 and three. If you have an Apple watch or your phone, you have the weather app, you can actually look up to see what the UV level is. And I like to avoid those, <laughs> avoid those times uh, being outside for long periods of time. And if I'm outside during those times, I am fully covered, hat, long sleeves, long pants, um, not just relying on my sunscreen. And that's coming from experience as someone who has had melanoma skin cancer and been sunburnt many, many, many times. Is it a lifestyle change? Yes. Is it difficult and uncomfortable to be fully clothed in the heat of the day, especially here in South Carolina, where the heat index has been getting up to 96, 98? Uh, it's been very hot. I've been staying indoors and I am a girl who loves the outdoors. So I'm not saying don't go outside, but be extra, extra protective. Um, another way is supplements. I take HelioCare Advanced, which I haven't done a video on because I'm not positive how well it works. It is a supplement that's supposed to prevent you from getting sunburns, thus minimizing the damage to your skin. You cannot rely on it strictly as your only sun protection. Again, it's a tool in your tool belt. All of these means of sun protection are tools. They all work together to protect our skin from getting skin cancer. And seeking shade whenever you can. I know when you're at the beach, it's hard to find some shade. Pop up that sun umbrella, uh, that sun tent that you can get the shade underneath it. Find a palm tree if you are on a beach with palm trees. I am jealous. Always be seeking shade. I have just started memberships on this channel for $2.99 a month. You can become a member of my channel. That will get you extra access, personal access to me. I will have an extra video once a month, at least one extra video. There will be special emojis for members, special badges, and special community posts that only my members will see. Becoming a member of my channel is a great way to support my mission as a sunscreen and skincare advocate. I would love to have you in my special membership group. There's a video already waiting for you. I'll see you there.